Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you my Gucci handbag collection. Spoiler alert, they are all vintage. <laughs> now, you know I love vintage, but also this is inspired style because they kind of match what's happening um, in the trending world without, you know, costing a fortune. And so if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, I'd love if you subscribe to my channel. And let's go into the video. So the first bag I have, I'm trying to do it based on the order I bought it. This is the first one I saw. And this is a Gucci bucket bag. I'm just trying to pull it up a little bit. So this is a Gucci bucket bag. Gucci bucket bag. This is a very cute little throw on over your shoulder bag. It has a strap. It doesn't work for crossbody, but it's a really um, good shoulder bag. It holds a lot as well. Uh, inside it has just a back pocket, and but it's it's very deep. Even though it's like flat, it's very deep and it holds a lot. Whenever I want to carry a little more. I, I use this bag. It has the Gucci logo right here on the drawstring. The The age of it is really good. What draw me was this. I don't know. Every time I see a Gucci bag with this red and green, it just feels <laughs> very Jamaica to me and is very near and dear to my heart. So I kind of went on a Gucci <laughs> red and green um, campaign to find... A lot of the bags with this it also has the gucci logo right here i'm not sure if you can see it it's on both sides and this is just the how the bottom of it looks the hardware on it is also really good it has really kept the gold plating on it really well if you can see it here but it's just a really cute compact bag um i'm not worried about the trends i still carry my gucci bag even though gucci's <laughs> not like hot in right now but i just really love this little bag it holds so much and it looks great with any outfit so the next bag that i got was i'm sorry i keep it in a bag <laughs> that it came in okay so it's this one and you can see this blue and red, this green and red i just gravitated to it and this was the next bag that i got it does adjust in the straps so you can either carry it um shoulder length cross body and you can you know there's a little snap opening and you can just like shorten it this way and put it in the snap on the sides and this then becomes another really cute shoulder bag so it really just goes like this but a lot of the times i carry this as a clutch as well so this is the next one it also has the same logo as the bucket bag i don't i'm not sure what year this logo was from but it has the same logo with the bucket bag uh just has a zip closure here and it has like the accordion style compartments with just a zip pack packet with just a zip pocket in the back right here um but this i actually got this right i'm not sure if it was at the same time as the trend of this bag because this bag was reissued and i think i got it before i realized it was reissued and i was like thank god because the prices of the vintage versions shot up the minute the reissue was published um so i'm just i really like this again it's i love how structured it is it holds a whole lot and this is another one of my favorite finds so um this is gucci bag number two and i still of course do love wearing it especially with like a white button down shirt and jeans if i dress my jeans up with some like heels and carry this as a clutch just for daytime um yeah i still carry my bag 
The thing with Gucci, I think it's more on the casual side. I hardly ever carry them for like formal events. Um, but I mostly go out for casual daytime anyway. So it works great for my lifestyle. The next item I got um, during the, I think it was the Gucci disco or something of the sort. But these bags were very popular this shape of bag and so when i saw this on the vintage market i was influenced to pick up <laughs> this version and this again just has like you know the inside pocket in here holds a lot the gucci logo around the front um i'm not again sure well this is just my Authentic card. I'm not again sure when it was, but this just has the leather logo on the front. I should really look up the years for these bags, but um, yeah, I I didn't just buy it for the history. I bought it for the style, and this has a really long crossbody um, strap. I'm, I haven't used this one in a while, but I'm looking forward to using it this summer. So yeah, this is number three. All these damn monogram prints, but they're they're different vibes, right? The next bag I got, oh, this one, and I did a shoot somewhat with this bag, and this is the Ophelia. This was another um, reissue. I did get this when the reissue was happening. Um, so when I realized that they were reissuing the Ophelia um line having seen that i had one of the reissued bags already i'm like let's see if i can find this because i really like this style as well so i have worn this a lot i really enjoy this size as well this is one of the newer logos it's definitely still vintage i keep it stuffed <laughs> to keep the shape but and of course again it has the red and green which just pulled me in i think does is that on all my bags except the light colored one they all have that um jamaica inspired <laughs> red and green stripe or to me jamaica inspired red and green stripe um and again i just like the shape of this i like the size of this it has all kinds of stuff in here oh. and this is just an open little bag again but it holds a lot so when i just want to throw something on this is a crossbody i think i have a photo i can show that i did for that shoot but it's just a crossbody let me stuff it back and so another casual depending on my mood or where i'm going <laughs> gucci bag that i grab and go the other two are bigger bags. I have two more bags and they're bigger bags because I love totes. I love throwing things and carrying everything that I need with me. So the next bag that I got, and I hunted this down for a while, just in terms of, you know, the getting it in the right price because, you know, when Gucci was hot again, everything shot up and I, you know, for a vintage bag, I didn't want to pay too much. And, Again, my quota for vintage bags is under, for handbags in general, is under $500. I want to keep it at that for right now. Um, you know, if I win the lottery or something, we can we can go hard. But right now, I'm more interested in building, uh, building income or building wealth as opposed to, you know, investing it in handbags for right now. But I can still participate by enjoying the vintage versions or, you know, just having... Um, the luxury handbags that I want in the vintage versions. So the next bag that I have is this Gucci tote. And this holds again a lot. I just like throwing things. I like, you know, if I want to carry uh, my umbrella, I have my diary, I have just my laptop. Whenever I'm taking my laptop um, as well, this is a really good bag to have if I'm gonna be out for the whole day. So this is the next one. Of course, it doesn't have it on the the bag itself, but the handles again are 
the <laughs> red and green um, stripe. I'm just obsessed <laughs> with this red and green uh, accent on the bags. And so, again, I have this. This is a like the Ophelia. This is the new, one of the newer logos. And this is the back of it. So it's just a simple tote bag that holds a lot. You have, another, you have like a little pocket here. I just throw like my phone in here or anything that I need to reach quickly. But this is my Gucci tote. I'm all about, I'm all about the totes. I have to carry my whole life with me, basically. And the final, the final Gucci bag that I have is this large tote bag and this is comparatively this is about the size of the Neverfull GM so this is a very very large bag now this is Gucci it is a Gucci plus so this is from ages ago now this is kind of Gucci it is argued that the Gucci plus um, is not a part of the Gucci brand or house or there was some split of something um, in the history why Gucci plus is not Gucci or something of the sort but the main reason I got this is because <laughs> I wanted a very bougie dog bag for my chihuahua and this fit the bill <laughs> so my idea for this bag because it is very old it does have like a crack right here when I um when I got it but because I know it's gonna cut it anyway I didn't get this for a whole lot I think I got this for under a hundred dollars so I'm I really just wanted it for uh, my dog bag I'm just gonna put a hole right here right here and then I can just put like a mesh because a lot of the times she doesn't like the box bags i usually just throw her over my shoulder anyway and so i'd be able to just have her closer to me if i have her in something like this the straps are you know still in my color code that i like but it's nice and um how should i say it's just very comfortable to hold so i know this would have, this will work very well having a 12 pound chihuahua on my shoulder <laughs> but this is how the front of it looks and on the back it just has this little pocket here you know for poop bags <laughs> and inside there's this 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 snaps open like this it is i also have like a pillow in here but it's just an open bag there's a little zip oh no, it's not a zip pocket just a little um thingamajig pocket on the side uh, right here I'm not sure if you can see it so this is just a little pocket here but it's just a nice open space and inside the bottom is like really flat and it's reinforced all the way here so I know it would be you know a really good safe um, bag to just carry around in um, I might put two holes in it we'll see I haven't done it yet I'm still getting everything together, you know, getting my plans together to see how I'd make it work. But I'm thinking I could definitely just like put that like a round mesh here, just like how we have the typical dog bags. But yeah, I think this <laughs> will do great for <laughs> my bougie dog carrier. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like seeing my uh, Gucci handbag collection all vintage if you haven't yet subscribed i'd really love if you subscribe to the channel and if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one